Hi everyone, just a quick update on what's happening in the vegetable garden. It's been about five weeks since my last video, so I'll quickly show you around and show you everything what's happening and how everything's growing. Been out here this morning and planted a few things. My peppers and my tomatoes went in the ground and had a bit of a tidy up, so I'll just quickly show you what's happening. So down here some trays of seeds that still need to get a little bit bigger before they get potted on. At the end there there's some lettuce. The two white trays are shallots and then down here there's another couple of trays of lettuce and then there's one tray of spring onions. And then this first bed, these are the two butternut which are starting to get quite big. In comparison, <coughs> that's one in a pot there that was sown the same time as ones in the ground. Obviously, the ones in the ground are starting to take off. This bed at the back there are aubergines, brinjals, and then these I just planted this morning are peppers. On the right here, there's these are green peppers, and on the left, are orange peppers. And then on the side there, there's a tray of some more aubergine seeds that have only just started to germinate after about two months in the tray. A couple of spare aubergine plants there. Some spare peppers, orange ones, and some green ones. And then down here, these are just trays of flowers. One at the back there is Sweet William. And these are flocks and they'll just be going in the garden <coughs> here, there and everywhere this bed is empty this bed will have spring onions and the shallots eventually these are the two potatoes that were left over from last year that have taken over this bed and then down here there's a few there's actually four small little lettuce seedlings that I planted this morning This bed has got the courgettes in. You can see they're really starting to take off now. And again, as a comparison, <coughs> these are some in pots, which were sown at the same time as the one in the ground. So it makes a big difference once they go in the ground, they really take off. So they're getting quite big. Down here, got the carrots and the beetroot starting to get a little bit big now just try and show you there's one down there it's starting to beef up a little bit so it won't be long before I can start taking some of those the potatoes are going crazy the ones on this side anyway there's two rows one on the left here I think these are BP1 and these are basically the almost chest height this row on the right, I can't remember what the variety were called now, but I've only got three that have actually started to grow out of all the ones I've sown. There's one at the end there, there's another one, that, actually four, and there's another one down there, and there's one that's just starting to come through down here. So this variety is not doing as well as the BP1s. I normally just grow BP1s, I thought I'd try something different this year. So. We'll see how they go. Beans are doing well. There's another row just below. Hard to see. Down there, there's a second row that's just starting to come through. I had to re sow a lot of these because something's eating all my beans as they come through the ground. You can see this one here. Something's chopped the top off of that one. I've been searching through, I can't find any caterpillars or anything, so I don't know what it is. Um, there's the cucumber, it's starting to pick up now, it's a bit slow, but it's slowly beefing up. Again, there's two in pots there as a comparison, and there's not a great deal of difference in these ones. The cucumber ones in the pots are not much smaller than the one in the ground. And then these are the tomatoes. I planted this morning, put the canes up, 
and if you can see it's a bit hard to see these canes they go up at an angle they're wider at the top than they are at the bottom and that's because as the plants grow I want them and they start bushing out of the top and producing fruit I want a bit more space between them at the top so I can get a bit more airflow through the plants to stop any diseases so it's fine if they start off a bit closer together at the bottom but obviously as they get taller they put on more leaves and fruit trusses get a bit more bushier so I try and like splay them out at the top to give them a bit more breathing room and these ain't too big the ones in the pots are very small and the onions I think they're almost ready to come up the ones on this side the leaves are starting to turn brown there there's a few that have dropped over I mean there's quite a few big this one here if you can see next to the side there's my hand for comparison it's quite a big one these ones the, the red ones not really doing much unless they put on a, a late spurt and growth they're not going to be that great but uh, every year I say I'm not going to grow red onions and every year I grow red onions but I think this is definitely the last year I'm going to grow red onions so that's about it that's all that's happening in the vegetable garden at the moment I'll try and do a bit more regular updates because things are going to start growing a bit quicker now so I'll try and keep it to like two or three weeks between videos then you can see what's really happening so that's all for now thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and if you do subscribe click the little bell icon next to the subscription button and you'll get notified every time the video gets put up so I'll see you next time cheers